For me, tattoos have been a very important way for me to communicate myself. Yeah? Yeah. And, um, and what are you communicating? I think for me, it's um, it's a variety of, um, of themes, you know, mythological themes. I borrowed uh, some of the uh, some of the storytelling from the Greeks, because I've always been fascinated by Greek mythology, and some of the the artwork reflects that. I think also too, on a spiritual level, it was a way for me to come to terms with um, feelings I had. Um, frustration, um, a way to bring to the surface some of the conflict in, a, in an artistic way, as opposed to something destructive. You know, some people when they get confused or angry, they can be destructive and, and, and ruin their lives. I think for me it was probably the best way for me to deal with rage, identity issues, uh, in a way that was artistic. You know? I think also because when I grew up as when I was a young man and I I didn't really have a sense of uh, family. I, uh, my family life at, at a young age was fragmented. And so I found myself in the company of young men like myself who were uh, also a bit disconnected and I guess I don't know, abandoned, you know? And I guess the tattoo was a way for us to unify. Uh, the mark was permanent. And so in that sense, I, I think it gave us a, a feeling of, 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 of uh, permanence. Because everything that I had observed, you know, from as a child up until my teen years had been taken away from me. And so I think the mark represented some kind of it was is symbolic of of, of, of of an agreement within myself and with others that we had something that nobody else had that could not be taken from us. And I think also it was a way to communicate to the outside world before tattoo become before tattooing became fashionable and uh, accepted by the mainstream. It was a way for us to separate ourselves from the world around us and take a stand and stand firm in that conviction because everything around us, I think at least for me, was so ethereal, you know, was so transient, whether it was family. Uh, by the time I was 13 years old, I think I'd moved a dozen times. And so um, I think finding other men like myself in New York who had come from similar backgrounds, we created our own family. And the tattoo mark itself, I think, was a way to to initiate that experience and to um, substantiate it, to give it a reality, you could see it, you couldn't fake it, because once you put it on, obviously it doesn't come off. So in that sense, it was a commitment to not just the image itself, but to a brethren and a way of living in the world very different than the conventional mentality around us. Because from what we observed, those conventional structures were all falling down and they didn't meet really mean much to us. So we created our own world, our own family, and tattoo itself was also that expression of a variety of feelings that we had. Can I ask you, uh, when you say we, who are you talking about? Young men like myself that I grew up with, yeah. some of the neighborhoods I lived in. In New York? In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, in Brooklyn yes. New York. This was in the 1970s. A very different New York back then than it is now. I think now it's a bit uh, gentrified. They've turned it into Disneyland. What was it? You were uh, in, in a gang environment and things? I don't know. Gang is a word that I think conjures certain a, a certain perception or idea. I don't know if I'd call it a gang. Um, you know, we weren't choir boys. <laughs> But uh, I would just say that uh, we were just... You know, we were family. That was our family. That was my family. I call them family. Yes. Like what, gang. 
but now you are famous uh, Hollywood actor. Has uh, the tattoo ever been a problem? I think it's been a problem for the people that run the show, meaning the people in positions of power in Hollywood who may have uh, a certain perception of what the tattoo means based on what they either saw in movies or what they've been trained to believe by their parents or um, any number of reasons. So I think in that case, it's been a challenge for me to have to communicate a different thought to some of these people who, who may have seen it as something nefarious, you know, or pointing to something that is by society standards conceived as a, a social pariah, you know, and, and so I think in the early stages when I first started in Hollywood, I think, in auditioning, I think there was some concern about it um, because it hadn't been exploited by the mainstream yet, and so it was very difficult uh, to affect producers, writers, directors who were in positions of power to see beyond the surface and to see something within myself, within my ability to communicate as an artist, um, this was very difficult. So I always had to bring my A game, so to speak. I always had to make sure that when I went in to audition for a role, I had to do, I had to be extremely effective so that the work itself, the craft, the art, whatever you want to call it, would affect them to the point where they wouldn't see the tattoos anymore. They would just be affected by the performance. And in that case, I would have to transcend not only the physical condition that I manifest, but I had to also transcend their own ideology or their own belief system by showing them something that they'd never seen before. And I think in that case, it was interesting to observe that process or that, yeah. And, you know, not always, even, even, even with that, though, I think it was still difficult because I don't think people in those positions of power felt comfortable or, or, or were trusted that they could communicate a, a, a mythology or a series of stories with someone like myself that the audiences would understand that they could relate to because so much of that imagery is associated with prison, with gangs, with drug addiction, um, a variety of things that are, are considered a, ne a negative. And so if I was going to audition for a character that may be perceived as um, what some would say an upstanding citizen or someone who is uh, conventional minded, has a wife, a family, children, goes to work every day, you know, I would not, uh, I think it would be difficult for them to consider me for a character like this. But nowadays we're seeing men who and women from all walks of life, all different types of professions. It has been changing with tattoos the, uh, the yeah. late year, hasn't it? Yeah, exactly. But to stick to your question, in the beginning, in, I think in the late 80s, throughout the 90s, it was an extremely challenging time for me as an artist, actor, to go into the rooms and audition over and over and over again before a panel of judgment and to blow their minds and make and put them in a situation where they had to rethink their ideologies and reconsider their belief systems and so and at times it was effective at times they uh, obviously they, they they moved past their fears and prejudices and hired them gave me a job and I'm grateful for those men that were brave enough and women that were brave enough
Nice. Come on. And in. <laughs> 